Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu asbiru wa sabiru wa rabitu wa attaqullaha la'alakum tuflihun For you who have believed be patient and endure and remain stationed and fear Allah that you may be successful Allah Azza says be patient and be with patient ones Patience is necessary on the way of Allah Steadfastness is necessary on the way of Allah Also do goodness When you do goodness you will win, win in the end with the permission of Allah Allah willing this is the promise of Allah. Certainly to be patient, there are all kinds of hardships in this world. There are problems of dunya, this world and troubles caused between people. They cannot tolerate each other. Some people dominate over others property and dominate over everything therefore we should be patient with the stuff and be steadfast against them and dismiss them shaitan is cheating people everywhere he is tricking everyone you do your charity work. Charity will not be lost in the sight of Allah. If others think that they are benefiting from cheating people, they are only cheating themselves. They will not have any benefit or blessing, barakah from it. Very often people come and say, this man cheated me and took a lot of money from me, he's not giving it back. Please make dua for me. And the money is usually a lot, a big amount. They also ask, can I take it back? Can I get it back? Mawlana Sheikh Nazim used to often say to drink a glass of water on top of it. Why would he say so? It may sound like a joke, but when they take money in a haram way by cheating, it will not, not remain in their hands as well. It will be gone without any benefit. Therefore, if people use it on for good purposes, on the way of Allah, Allah will accept it. If it is for other things due to their lack of attention, then their money will be stolen. Therefore, we should be careful. When giving, you should make a good intention for doing good. When someone says, I'm doing this and that, I'm giving to the poor, I'm building a darga, I'm building a mosque, and takes money by cheating, he will have no benefit from it either. When someone takes others' money to invest in business and says that he will give it back, people shouldn't think should not think that they will get it back because what you gave is halal and what he took is haram. And there's no barakah blessing in the haram. Barakah is only in halal things. Therefore, people should think thoroughly about these things. If they think I'm cheating these people, I will make a profit from what people gave me. These such people who think they're cunning and smart, clever, are absolute idiots. The money they take has no blessing, no barakah, and it is poison for them. May Allah protect us. May He give us from halal permissible provision. May Allah not let us be in need of anyone.